definitely gives you the chills. Our favorite flareaholic, Antonio, you see his arm right there, here to celebrate All Hallows Eve with a creepy cocktail in hand and a little bit of an interesting eye this morning. Well, we're going for, you know, the kind of the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, so I had to have something to make me look a little different. I can't be a pretty boy in the Dr. Look, Jekyll Look Look into the camera. We'll which, see which if we can, we, we can catch that. Right here? there. The, ooh, number two. Go. Ooh. He's got his one good eye on <laughs> That's you. That's all I got is a one good his eye. His one good eye. How are you today? I'm wonderful. I'm ready. I love, I love all, all the crazy Halloween decorations, and I love the bubbling drinks. And with, with this weekend, we're going to have so many parties. And that's what's great about Halloween. It gives, it gives us all adults a chance to be a kid one more time, you know, at least once a day. And, of course, the Flareaholics, we get to do stuff like this, and we get to take things a little further than we need to, so we even have a much better time. So, again, we're going to start something real easy, real simple. We're going to do a non-alcoholic drink for you, which you would got be it. Our, Switch our, our regular and people. And I'm and ready. Here, I got a little bit, since we're going into fall, more spices. We got some coriander in here right now and a little bit of lemon juice. In here, in my injector. Ooh, I like that from the <laughs> laboratory. My laboratory. Whoa. Whoa. That's orgeat syrup. Um, an almond simple syrup, used in a lot of baking. And then we're just going to put a little bit of ice in here. We're just doing this to kind of mix up the flavors. Okay. We're going to shake this up. Oh, and I love these cups. Thank you. One of our good friends, Joe, made these for us. And then we're going to top this. This is, again, the ginger beer. This is for the designated driver or the person just that, doesn't want to drink, you know, you know? Doesn't, doesn't need All to right. drink to have a good so time. So what we want you to do here is right here in the skull, dump it in, and it's going to come right into this bottom okay. glass. Okay, this is so cool. So I'm dumping and it in the skull. Let's get it all down. There you go. And here it comes. Oh, what's that table there? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> anyway, to, you know, it's like a, a kid's version of a... Man. And so now this biohazard is okay for me to it's drink now? It's very good for you to fabulous, drink. Fabulous, fabulous. It's actually almost healthy for you. <laughs> so what we're doing that, um, again, Flareaholics, we're really into a lot of classic cocktails. You like Delicious. that? Delicious. Yeah. Really, really good. So we're going to make a, a 1500 style punch, one of the original drinks. Punch was actually one of the first ones made in India. So in here I got a lot of sugar, it's about six ounces of sugar, and some lemon skins that I've just muddled up together to get the oils out. We're going to put in um, about 10 ounces of water. And that's what makes it simple. The, the word punch stands for five, meaning five ingredients. So that's the Hindi word for that. And then we're going to put in just a little bit of nutmeg for the look and the taste. Mm -hmm. So sugar, lemon peel, yep. nutmeg. And then lemon juice. This is about six ounces of lemon juice. And then what we're going to do is punches are made for big groups of people. Mm -hmm. And I love Jameson's Irish whiskey, so we're gonna do a whole bottle. What? Wow! Of hey, you're not messing around no, today, well, Rabbit. Well, like I said, this is for the whole party. This isn't just for you and I. You know, we're gonna. And by whole party, you mean you, you and one myself other and one other right, person. Right. Thank you. I got it. And then we would just stir that up. We, of course, you put a little bit of ice in, in, the, in your favorite punch bowl. You know, whatever you have for your front yard or your or your front table. And then you would just throw a ladle in there. You would ladle that out to your guests. And that would be a 15 style punch. We're calling that just a very classic punch. Classic punch. Yeah. Which will give you a one two punch. It really will. You know? <laughs> at your Halloween party. And not for the designated driver, not for the FYI. Not designated driver at all. So, and then this is our Kiwi Killer. I love the name of this drink, Kiwi Killer. Kiwi Killer. And then you know what to do with this, so we just want you to crush that you Kiwi. You want up. me to muddle away like nobody's ever muddled before. Before. And right before you're completely done muddling it, we're going to add about two mint sprigs. There we go. Now we're going to throw those in there, and you're going to muddle those guys up. Okay. So well, wait. Kiwi Killer, how'd you come up with this one? Because you guys have all these amazing drinks that you just, voila, it's your brainchild. Kind of like those cult shows, uh, Attack of the Killer Clowns, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Well, I had a kiwi. I'm like, hey, why don't we make it a killer kiwi? You know, but we didn't want to get a sued by, like, you know, copyright, so we're not saying Attack of the Killer Kiwi. We said Killer Kiwi. I can't look at you with that one good eye. <laughs> it's just creepy. It is I got my weird. eye on you, though, so there yeah, we you go. Do. All right, so, so we got, we've got muddled uh, kiwi, and we have some, some mint sprigs in there. And now we're going to put in some Beef Eater Gin. It's a London Dry Gin. Okay. It's one of the original type. We're going to go about an ounce and a half of gin and then in here we it's simple syrup but we just put a little cranberry juice for color nice so we're gonna put in about a half ounce of simple syrup was again just sugar water and a little bit of lime juice this you know you always need a little bit of acid and then I'm gonna have you shake this up for me you got and it this, this drink is served uh, on the rock. So we'll get another one of our skull ones here. I, I know that you, you sometimes throw a little this, little that, and you have your own measuring standards, but we'll always have this on our website yeah. so people can print and it and get it ready for their When I say party. quarter ounce, half ounce, remember a shot glass is usually about an ounce. So whatever you have there, quarter of that, half of that. And then what you'll do is you'll just pop that guy off and then dump that whole thing in there because you always want to serve a nice clean glass to your guests. Nice. 
so they can see what you're doing there. Kiwi killer. And then we're just going to top it off with a little bit of soda water. I like bubbles in my drinks. I'm mm. like that. Hey, and, and you can consider that you've had some of your fruit and veggies for the day. You know? You don't need Centrum, you can just do that. A sweet drink to go with the candy. There we go. And then when you're out trick or treating. Another thing that you guys do besides teaching people your wonderful, amazing moves and how to make great drinks is sometimes you get into the spirit of competition. Oh, yeah. That's one reason we get into this. You know, we always got to say who's better than the other person. And it's, it's, it's all in fun, but of course we got to compete. So um, the 9th of November, we're going to have our first round of Poor Wars, which is one of our local competitions. It's getting very big. Tell us what Poor Wars is for people that haven't heard of it. Um, it is a local competition that we've actually made it now nationwide. We have people from Florida, actually, all over the country coming out. And it's a three-day event of semi -qual of qualifiers. You come out, eight of us will come out, we'll compete. We have judges, drink specials, it's at Hennessy's and PB. And um, it's basically, let's see what you got. Put it out there, and if you, if you can talk the talk, you better walk the walk, and we, we go out there and have a good time. Amazing. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so November 9th, it's the Poor Wars. Mm -hmm. Still time for folks to sign up. Oh, definitely, definitely. We, you know, the more competitors, the better. We don't, we'll never say no until we hit maybe like 15 people. But okay. we have about four or five spots left. Wonderful. Yeah. I remember a while back you were up, you won the title of Southern California Bartender of the Year. Right. And it was maybe going to go to the national or international In recession times, you know, the, yeah. the sponsors can't be sending people to New Zealand like they used to. So, but I'm still on the list, so as soon as the money starts coming back in. Okay. Yeah. Hey, and the good news is you're still local, so still uh, local. people can hire you for their parties. Definitely. And you can still teach everyone how to make great drinks. And that's drinks. the thing. If you guys want us, you got to call in quick. We're really booking up real fast. It's getting in that okay, holiday here, season. Okay, here, you have your drink right here, and I have my non-alcoholic. Okay. Well, hi, I'm happy there Halloween. There we go. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good and uh, that one good eye gets me every good time. <laughs> Thanks so much, Rabbit.